Okay, so today it is somewhat possible for me to actually get this video out. You can see got a bit of a bit of a glow to me. But yesterday and the day before, oh my days, it was impossible to stay in this room. I'd literally not be able to breathe. I'd bring two big water bottles, like massive water bottles. I, I sat off for ten minutes. Everything was absolutely burning up, including myself. But we've got to forget about that. It's been a two-day rest, and we are back again. So welcome back, people, to episode number... Oh, I've even forgot it's been two days. Episode number five, episode number six. One of those two of the Schalke FIFA 22 career mode here on, of course, FIFA 22. Now, there's some spoilers on the screen. If you haven't seen the last episode, please go ahead and watch that one. As today, I think it is only four games that we're going to be playing. We've got Union Berlin... We've got Freiburg, we've got Gladbach, and we've got Bayern Munich in January, them two games. So we do have a window. And of course, if you're excited by this and you enjoyed the last video, leave a like on both and subscribe. To try and help us reach 7k, which is the aim. We'll be absolutely fan dabby dozy if we reach that before, of course, FIFA 23, as Bella Kotchap's happy. We play Union, who are in 17th first up today. The team is a little bit tired, but I think I do trust it for a simulation. We'll play the other three and, of course, get any transfers. And if we don't do transfers, we go straight through to the cup game against Dortmund, which is an interesting tie. But I don't think we will get onto that, if I'm fully honest, I'm afraid. As Riveros is in goal, Zeefweek fires Bella Kotchap and Ferreira with a Grinick sitting. Getting back up to his old rating with Shibe and Becker at the side. Sanchez at the top of this diamond that we knew now do play. Just in the previous video to see how we've gone to this. As Sorry is at front with Jorginho Routier. And we're going to see how this goes about. We are not doing too great in the league. But we've got time to turn it around I'd say. As a 2-2 draw probably isn't the best. Smornodov fires a Grinick. And Becker late on with a leveller. Yeah, definitely not the result we wanted. We were back on league form in the last episode. We beat Bayern and such, but not the greatest of results. How many points are we off the top six? We are only four, to be fair. Games in hand all around, but not too lost. So I really want to get business done right in this window. As Rivas has left, we get 10 million into the budget, which is nice. As two players out of contract, one included... Is a huge player for us. You can see Baden Fredrickson. Him and Slomane are the main two players in this. Slomane is injured long term. Does he earn himself a new contract? Or do we just wait on him? One player I don't want to wait on though is Baden. I do think he's good enough to stay at this squad. I mean, he's not in the first team at the moment. And I don't know if he'll get back into that. But he does want rotation. Even though he's 80 rated. That's an amazing thing to ask for. I'll definitely give him that as accept. No release clause. His wage probably will need a boost. I can't lie about that. I'll go 42. Really do want to keep him at the club. 52. With a couple of bonuses. You know what? He's been that loyal. He's been that decent as an impact sub. Baden will get the money. And he will stay for two years. Just can't promise him game time. As Freiburg is the first one we'll play today. These are in 8th. Interesting, 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 interesting. I'm going to make a change on the bench as well. I'm going to put a cost on for Junior Adamo because I'm thinking in January, if we do make money off one player who's quite a big player, it'd probably be Adamo. He doesn't get played that much. And of course, Acosta was on the up and coming spiral. As we are going to go with the same team that did get the draw. I know it didn't win, but I'm going to trust it. Baden's still on the bench after his new contract. See what we can do against 8th place. And their team, Jung in goal, Iago, don't want to say that name, Schurz and Du Bois, Elgazi and Kimwa. With loser Tossart and Ben Rama with Brooks up front. I think they struggled last year. Maybe wrong. Egerstein now on the bench. Decent lineup. I think that might be Sander Benegay they have on the bench as well. Good midfielder. Of course, still at the Blades in real life. Very loyal to Sheffield United. As let's see if we can get going in this loser. With the ball, very good player for Watford. Will he stay loyal to the championship? Who knows? As Brooks out wide into Dubois. Now into Ben Rama, trying to get around the side. That's too easy, Guilherme. Got to mark up better. Loser with a shot. Rivero early save. Close one, that is now a corner ball for them. We've got to defend this one. Front post, Becker, not a great header. 
And Amedozic goes backwards. I think that's how you say that one. Eli Garzi making the move over from Aston Villa or Everton if he went permanently. I think he is only on loan in real life for Souza. Souza? What am I calling him? Soria. Souza's Grimsby's ex winger. As Sanchez now through the middle. Routier with a good run on. He's got a pair of shirts to try and beat. Sanchez at the side of him. Soria as well. Can't get the pass off. It is still getting extremely warm in this room. I'm going to try and not let it affect me. I'm not going to be screaming and shouting as I usually do, though. As Shibe comes forward with the ball a little bit. Can't get his pass to the side. And he stayed down as Mo Shibe. He was gr uh, gathering some form as well, him. That's not a nice one to see go down. But still will play on as Riveros with a terrible pass. Makes up for it slightly. As I think he handled it, loser. I think we've been let off the hook big time with Riveros. As we're going to have to put Kovac on for Shibe. What a mad two minutes. Must have come off his hand. Very, very lucky for our goalkeeper Riveros right there. Made a big mistake as we don't want that to happen again. Sorry gets a pass off to Zifweek. And if we can whip a deep ball in here, maybe we could take a lead. Sanchez, Soria, and Jung decided to hoof it. Not actually take control of that one. As Becker now onto Sanchez around the corner. Gulherme looking back post. Not a bad one to swing in. Sanchez needs to win it, but doesn't. Interesting stuff as now Becker fizzes one straight into us right there. And Julian Sanchez finds Finn Ole Becker. Now into Soria. Looking over the top for Zifu, he just needs to chest that in, does to Kovac, what a back heel! And Ruffier gets us off the mark in this one, it's a beautiful move. And I've got to say, Kovac, who's just come on the field, what an assist. The instinct to just flick that on, sensational. Zifu just got it in the middle, back heel, bottom bins. We've got back to scoring, that's definitely a given, as now Bella Kotchap in the defence turns out. Let's pass around the back like... As good as Grimsby do. Like, I went to the friendly against Lincoln the other day. They are... We're getting better at passing out. I've got to say that. As I probably need to stop talking about my club and focus here on Schalke. Ben Rama got a pass straight into him. We've got a couple of players forward here. Can we keep him off? Fires, please tell me he kept him offside. He didn't. He kept him on. What are you doing? That was an easy offside. Marini gets the leveler. But what is Fires doing? He stepped forward. I think he might have been offside there, the striker. Fires definitely stepped forward. Maybe a little bit too late, but I don't know. I really don't know. Outscoring is the game as Schurz threw into Marini. I think he came on for loser as well. The replacements actually scored as they've got a bit of time here before half time. Toussaint into Iago. Gives it back into that man. Now through to El Ghazi. Trying to come across and just block it off, which Becker does well. Pass forward, and there is the whistle. 1-1. One, one. Should be in front, though. Goal they scored. Shouldn't really have count as Kovac. Let's get moving, shall we? Zifweek into Fires. Now Bella Kotchap. We're going to go this way on with Ferreira. Ferreira almost tackled right there. Bella Kotchap to go forward anyway. Becker, a couple of decent moves right there to get it out. Grinick, Soria, almost around the corner. Sanchez collects it. Agrinic out wide into Zifweek. Sorry now back onto Kovac. Trying to line one up but blocked. And Tusa into El Ghazi. Marini through the middle. Not long to go now. Just approaching the last half an hour as Tusa whips the ball over. Guilherme. Please mate you've got to get that. Brooks with a pop shot on the turn. Riveros with an easy save to be fair to him as Becker straight onto Agrinic. Trying to get the diamond in full flow to get us out of the back. It makes it good for counter-attacking. I've got to say, Osoria looking to try and seize the gap. Can't really do that. Goes to Zifweek instead. Routier at the back post. Tried to whip it into him. Just unlucky. And 10 minutes to go was Marini with a dodgy touch. Straight into Kovac. We need to go for this, but that's another poor ball. Passing hasn't been up to scratch in the second half, you've got to say. As Akimwo over the top. Not long to go. Said Benrama's dragging... Bella Kotchap and Gulherme out of position as they've gone backwards into the midfielder again. Dubois got a bit of a gap. Come on, Becker. Just sharpen up a little bit. Make sure we mark everyone up as that's a good tackle. That's a pass straight through the middle as well. A Grinick. Routier is in front of us. Terrible control and we've given it away again. Just don't lose this game, please. Bella Kotchap was wrong side there. As Toussaint fires with a block. Shot comes in. Wide. Lucky he missed that as Baden's coming on for the last couple of minutes. 
We are going to go for this one. We don't really want another draw, to be fair, as Becker. Smart turn through there. Baden, that's good control. Please be on side, Sanchez. Please be on side. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? I should have had a crack, but I tried to pull it back and pass. Horrible decision making from me. A 1 1 draw. Not what we wanted, but it's avoiding defeat. And we've got the bad news, I'm afraid, message here from the physiotherapist. Moshibe has broken his toe and is out for three months. Not a nice injury for any player to have, as Routier must have gone up in rating after that. Acosta, he wants more game time. Okay, I can understand that he wants to be back in the squad, but might have to wait a while. Let's have some apart on Adamu, see what happens there, as Rivas has departed, he's gone to Sevilla. Good transfer for him, to be fair, he wanted to leave the club. As youth players, might as well fill the academy up just to get the board on uh, our side. As how much money do we have as sales? We have 35 million, which is an okay amount. I say okay, it's not bad at all, as I do have one player in mind, but... I'm going to keep on going, see if we get money as Celta Vigo here wanting Adamu. That is in between his lowest and highest evaluation. I'm going to just accept that. I don't think he's getting the game time he deserves, so we'll let him go. As Miguel, De Beat, uh, Miguel Benitez, should I say, loan to buy from Celtic, which I'll accept. Obviously see some promise in him as PSV now wanting Adamu. I'm going to accept every offer. It's not that I dislike him, it's that... I fear for his future if he stays here that he will not play us. Now, Shibe is out. And, of course, Kovac is off the bench. It's definitely a central midfielder we need next. And I think I do have an idea in who. Just wait two seconds to see. As Bella Kocha, that is a low offer. That is a low offer. Bayern Munich, however, but I am going to reject that. Do not want to get rid of Big Bella as we are going to go over to the transfer thing. I don't know if we can afford him, but we might go in for him anyway. Florentino. Playing championship level football with Brentford, but he's so much better. Can be that sitting midfielder and let Ogrinic go further forward. Let's see if we can get him. 34 is his evaluation, which I'm going to offer at first because we'll only just have enough. 49 is way too much for him. We cannot afford that. We just don't have the money for it as 36. If we could pay 36, it would be good. Of course, with no minuses as well, that is. 36 is affordable. 39.8 is also affordable, but it doesn't leave us with much for bonuses. 38.5. Okay, we'll accept that we'll roll with it, but I'm going to wait on his contract to see if Adamu does go out. Then we should get money enough for, of course, um, getting him in as he has left. 12 million. Okay, that's decent. PSG now I'm wanting Bella Kocha. I'm going to delegate and I'm going to set a price tag. 50 million for him. That is the lowest he's going for as contract negotiations here. He wants to speak Okay, I will not leave you long now. We've got the money into the bank. We can talk as um, I'll offer him crucially is 83 rated decent rating on him should be in his prime years to help us just boost our uh, our uh, Path up this table 70 and a half million. I'll accept that It's a good amount of money as he wants 52 as well as Baden higher rated gonna start in his prime I'll accept that Welcome Florentino. It's only our second signing, would you believe, of this whole um, year, of this season, after Fayez. But I do think he's a very, very good one in my eyes. I do think he has a lot of promise, can sit in that role now, a bit deeper, just sweep up behind a Grinnick and Becker who can roam. Very happy with the team. Happier than you believe. As, ooh, Nicolas Soria, 70 million from Napoli. I'm going to set the price tag I hold on him. And I'm going to do it in a way you probably won't believe. 130 million. He's got the potential. Our players have been valued way too low for my liking. There's another one. Hellas Verona. If I'm not going to let him go to PSG or Bayern, no offence to you boys, but I'm not going to let him go to Hellas Verona as we should be approaching the Gladbach game. Can we survive with all our players? Please tell me we can. Has another offer, this time for Tobias Holzel. And actually, I don't mind losing him. That's a bit of money. That's a good little bit of money for a youth player, we'll accept. I don't mind that at all. Take him. He's promising. There we go, he's sold. He can get some game time in as Juve now. Wanting Soria. I want to give him till the end of the I want to keep him till the end of the season. With higher up clubs, I will go 120 million because I know they might be willing to pay it. 
maybe, as uh, they want a new striker. You're the man for the job, Nikolai. You are going to be sat on that bench, first choice striker, I'm pretty sure of it. So we're going to go with the team, of course, you saw. Florentino jumping in and a Grinic going forward. Kovac, unfortunately, on the bench. And Shibe, when he comes back, will unfortunately be there as well. As we play 10th place, Gladbach, two points above us to try and get up the table. From their team, Jan Sommer in goal, Frederick Richards, Rodon, Klajic, Castro, Busu and Haug, Pepe and Carrasco, with Musa up front. I don't know why they're playing Klajic that far back. He is a target man. Well, let's get going. Sanchez, straight on the ball for us. Robbed it. Florentino getting his first touch on the ball. And a decent pass through to Soria. Who's gave it out wide to Zeefweek. Just trying to keep this now into a Grinic. Do feel like we'll be a lot more confident in this game. Hopefully get something as Becker with a shot. Not handled by Richards. It looked a close one, you know, as they're hoofing it forward. Are they going for the long game already? Who knows? So that's an easy pass in the centre. A Grinic. Florentino. That's a good ball. I do want a passer in that DM role, and it looks like he's doing it. Happy with that as Kalajic robbed us of the ball there. That's maybe why he's further back. Good tackler as Carrasco finds a return ball there. Riveros. With a good save as Soria trying to keep the ball right there. Just loses it. Now Richards, Rodon, unlucky. Carrasco now around the corner into Haug, a very promising player at Frankfurt, I think, IRL. I don't know. Don't quote me on that as they've got a pass backwards. Routier, get the pressure whipped on Rodon. Come on, let's get further up the field, shall we, and just take the game to them. As Pepe now into Carrasco, Musa, that's a good ball around to Haug. Tries to whip it in. Never handball. Never handball. It's a free kick at least. We're on a tight angle for Yannick Carrasco. Probably going to cross and does. Belakotchap straight away. Gulherme, that's a terrific turn under pressure. Straight into Becker, who's going to try and get us away himself. Not a great ball, but it does reach someone. Haug trying to keep up with Becker, but Becker's got there first. Soria is at the back post. That's a brilliant ball. And it's in the back of the net. That took its time. I didn't think it would go in. Soria, very, oh, not Soria, Sommer, very unlucky. Soria, lucky. He stays for now and hopefully the foreseeable and adds to his 13 goals. A very good save. Just unlucky it hit the post and hit him on the back of the head. And it does actually go down as a Jan Sommer own goal as Carrasco. Riveros don't make any mistakes there. Good save, but still under pressure straight away again. At least we are scoring. First goal, but we cannot let them get just another point out of us. We need all three. We need to be getting all three again. As Carrasco with the ball at his feet, especially when there's buying up next. We did beat them last time rather comfortably as well, but we do want to, of course, get a win before them because it will be a difficult game, I guess, as Soria dodgy touch. Need to keep on going and not lose concentration as Fires jumped across into Pepe's path to block that one out. Florentino into Routier. Good pass out. A Grinic. That's not a good touch from Joe Rodon. It's straight onto Soria. Can he actually get in a legit goal for himself? No, he can't. Straight down the throat of Sommer. Not like him. Taking the time on the edge of the box, which, to be fair, I shouldn't mind, but I kind of do because I know a disguised pass like that was going to try and be threaded in. But it is half time. We do lead this time, but we need to for another 45. Can't beat the fellow Swiss, though, as Fires. Oh, he flicked it on for him. I thought he was going to get up, but he obviously didn't as Musa now. Pulisic to Manchester City. Weird transfer that one as Carrasco now on to Haug. Please watch our men in the middle as I'm going to bring Gulherme across. A Grinic needs to watch that. Florentino sitting. Come on. Tackle him, please. Musa. Fires is actually doing very, very well in this game, I've got to say. Trying to make up for keeping him on side in the last game. As that's a brilliant ball through to Soria. Defenders all still to beat, but he's going to cut back a little bit. Try and poke it over the top into Routier. Not a bad shot, but a good save. He was a little lucky with it, but what a save it was. As Becker now on to Routier. We'll give it into Soria. Man sliding in. That's a rough challenge on Nicholas. If he would have got injured, I would have had serious letters to the German FA. As now Jorginho Routier around the corner. Gulherme just dipping one in. Not a bad swinging ball. It's not long to see this out now. I'll probably take the 1-0 as it stands. Get back to winning ways, despite us. Not scoring all the goals that I thought we were going to. As Gilherme over the top, looking for Routier. Put away. Soria takes a touch and drills it down low. Unlucky. Sanchez around the corner. We'll just keep hold of this, shall we? Zeefweek. Edge of the box. Florentino. Can he strike a ball? No, but he can't pass as well in that situation. 
Not a great place to lose it from the new DM. As Musa to try and run forward. They've got to pass quickly. Wrights. A Grinnick slid wrongly into Musa. Everyone get back, please. Everyone get back. We just need this result now. Reitz messes his pass up. That's good. See if we forward on to Soria. Still not great, though, from him. Just out of time now. Bad pass. Man of the match fires. Almost give it to their striker, but we'll give it back to Riveros. Whack it forward. And that is the game. A 1-0 away win against Gladbach is terrific. Very, very well done. Back to winning ways. Tenth in the table. Oh, how many points? Four points still off Frankfurt. We do have a game in hand, but we can only do what we can do. And to be honest, I'm happy with the way we're doing as Soria has a bid here of 86 million from our rivals Bayern Munich. I think he wants to stay here. I just do. Why would he leave when he's on flames? I don't want to let him leave as well. We play them next. It's broke down with Juventus. They took a long time to think about it, you know. They definitely did. If Bayern do pay that, We'll have a very busy deadline day, I'm pretty sure, as we'll do that with the academy players as we move into Bayern next. Bayern and BVB in the turnaround. <sighs> Not easy games, but we are going to go with this full team for this Bayern game because we need to keep it up in the league. But against top spot at home this time. We did well away. Can we do it here? And the Bayern team, Lafont still in goal. Davis, Kimmich, Zuma, Upamecano, Kakare and Hoiberg. Favre, Musiala and Sane with Malin up front. I think that's similar to last time. Still top of the league despite us beating them. I do think Thomas Party was in the lineup last time though. I cannot remember as a Grinnick into Zeefweek. Let's get going in this one, shall we? Florentino into Becker. Now into Gulherme. Just need to keep the ball. We did very well at that last time. We did have quite a bit of possession, but we've lost it straight away. Lost in the pass a bit too much there as oh my days, that's around the corner. Riveros. Brilliant. In the goal as Freyras overrun it. Okay. Corner ball for them. Just need to mark up Kimmich to whip a ball in. Fires heads that away. Sanchez. That's a rough challenge, but we've still managed to keep it. Pass this out. Zeefweek now into a Grinnick. I do see Routier trying to pace through the middle there. And sorry, you tried to knock it on. Have to be on the A game as Sane now around the corner. Tight angle. Riveros. Brilliant. Brilliant stop. As we'll roll that straight out for Gulherme Ferreira as well. To get running onto Routier. Soria. Now Routier with a turn there. Sani with a block. Daniel Malin now through the middle onto Favre. Looks like they are going to start attacking more than they did in the last game for sure. As a pop shot. Riveros with a stop. Now they will have a corner. Good little shot right there. But we did manage to block it as Kimmich into Routier. Hoiberg. That's a good ball in, you know, and it's gone through everyone. Gone through everyone and straight to Daniel Mallon, who's put it in the back of the net. Lucky goal, to be fair for him. Very lucky, I would say. Just headed away, chested down, through the gap. Easy finish, just to the side of Riveros. Unlucky as now Guilherme into Bella Kotchap. Now we've got to get back in front, and of course, these wanted Soria and Bella Kotchap. Can they prove, both of them and the rest of the nine players, can they prove... Why Bayern wanted them? Can they punish them for not getting them? Need to try and prove their worth, even though I think they're worth everything and I want them to stay here. As Soria, here he is on the ball. Into Routier. Can we get this to the left-hand side? There we go. Look at Gulherme go. What a terrible ball, however. Has Sane got on the end of that one? Kakare through the middle. The Frenchman into Favre again. Round the side. Sane. Not a great ball. Flick that on a Grinick. There we go. Sanchez. To keep it. And that's a good ball into Zeefweek. Plenty of space. Soria through the gap. Oh, that's a terrible ball, which could have been a goal if he would have got it right. And lucky right there as Malin into Kakare. Almost got a tackle in. Now Malin into Sane. Good block before half time, of course, as Musiala couldn't get that header away. A Grinick does get it down into Sanchez. Ball tried to be put across the field. Why are we risking that that much? Get more power on it, as I do think we'll be 1-0 down at the break. Hopefully nothing more, as Malin's running at us. At a time, we're into Sane with a good couple of steps across. Edge of the box. Hoiberg with a dodgy pass. Wick that away. Wick. Whack. That away and whisk. I don't know why I put them two together, but it is 1-0 to them. Unlucky at us. As Florentino. Favre with a tackle. Sanchez now on a turn into Florentino. Routier. Pass off into Becker. Can we do something here? 
Edge of the box. Florentino. Soria onside. Can we get instantly level? That's a brilliant ball into Routier. Good start to the second half. You know, Upamecano with a block. Becker. This is more like it. Soria. Over. The font into Upamecano. Into Sane now as he goes backwards. Just got to try and keep what we've just done right there up as Conor Gallagher to Manchester United. Some part of me doesn't see that as unrealistic. I don't know why. No idea why. Just because he's never got his true chance at Chelsea, I think. As Musiala has the ball at his feet into Kakare going for a 1 2 ball. Caught Sharp with a tackle that I always knew was going to make right there. But now it's their chance with the corner ball after Soria missed his one. Can we keep this out? Baku's come on for Sane. I think that's a weird change. Lidoy Sane, of course, an amazing player. Zupa Meccano back to us. Becker, that's not a great flick out, but Fires is there, as he has been all today. Very good in the tackle as Sanchez through to Soria. Tries to get right side of Kimmich. Here we go. Maybe Nicolas Soria's chance right here. And Lafont with a save. Made the most of it, to be fair to the small man, and always does. As a corner ball. Tried to go short. Why did Baden not run? Because he's just come on or something? I don't know. As Baku chasing the ball down. And Becker gets it passed straight into him. Baden, here he is. Gets a pass off back to Becker. Little bit of a gap for him. And he should have scored, to be fair. Big chance again. As Becker's going to whip a ball in. A Grinick. Davis away. We've still got to think about the cup game after this as well. Which is frustrating. But we're going for it. Becker. Over the top. Soria tries to head it on. Unlucky as Ferreira now into Becker. Now into Florentino. Sanchez. Soria. He doesn't miss this time. When it falls to that man, he don't miss him regularly. They wanted to buy him. They've still got a bid on the table of 120 million. Pay it and you can have him. But you can have him after he's leveled it up against you. What a player Nicolas Soria is. Azuma. Through the gap onto Thomas Partey. Now onto Baku. Going to go for a return. No, he isn't there. As Malin now keeping hold of this. Favre, Kakare. That's not a great pass around the corner, but that's a good hook away. Florentino with a block into Baden with some good control right there. They came in for a rough challenge. He still kept the ball as the Dane. A draw here wouldn't be the worst. I know we beat him last time, but it's never bad to get anything out of Bayern Munich, especially when they're top of the league again, as that's a ball over the top into Ziefweek. Looking for a Grinick. Unlucky. Now starting to play a little bit as a tackle there. Ball over the top. Easy read for Fires. Oh, he slipped on it. He slipped on it, and Musiala is through his chip in. And Bella Kocha, the other player they wanted, clearing it off the line. Very good work as Florentino. That is not. Come on, as two newish players making a couple of mistakes right there. So now they've got a free kick. Becker will come off, because I want to save him for the cup. He is an amazing player. As now a free kick in quite a dangerous position. Kimmich, can he strike from here? No, he jumps over it. Malin into the path of Favre. Down the throat of Riveros. Not long to go now if we could attack. Would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Baden, Sanchez in front of him, but we're going to go left. Gulherme, Soria, and everyone sprinting into the box. Early cross, Soria back post. Davis watched that so well. Fonzie in the way, as now they'll pass it out from the back. But that was a chance. If he would have just judged that wrong, what a goal it might have been. It would have sent our fans into absolute agony, jumping over each other. As Zeefweek jumps in there to win that header. Passion till the very end. Looks like we may be getting this point. We very much thoroughly deserved in this second half. As Daniel Mallon goes for a weird, unconventional chip. We'll whack this forward. See if we've got time. If someone runs on the end of this. Get going, Baden. Get the pressure on. Unlucky. As it is a 1-1 draw, though. No defeats today. And a draw against Bayerns. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, as... Let's have a look at the money we've spent. Yep, just that Florentino money. And then two players going out as he wanted to be kept on. I'm thinking about the next game, Routier. Yeah. I'm thinking about the future. I don't appreciate him having that moan at me, but hey-ho, we'll just have to let it go. As we'll sim, I'd say, to five hours as the don't want Soria. Now he's scored against them. Knows he has no link, no passion to Bayern Munich. Only to Schalke. We'll simulate one more hour and then I think we'll call it a day. I do want to see the league position before we go. Of course, it's getting very, very hot in this room. Even though it has cooled down a bit today and I'm actually able to record, it is boiling. As where is it? Top of it. Bundesliga. 10th or 11th still, but 
Gap is three points, so we've seized the gap a little bit, but I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about the position. I'm more thinking about the points, and I think we can get points the way we are going. As Thank you guys for watching this episode here. I'm going to probably get my like fifth shower of the day. I hope to see you all tomorrow if it's not absolutely boiling again and makes it impossible to stay in a room for that long. Of course, if you haven't seen the previous videos and you want something to watch in this heat, get your shades on, get the brightness up on your phone, watch it outside. It is, of course, all over the channel. You can subscribe to make sure you don't miss any in the future. Take care, guys. In a bit, 7K before 23. And peace.